The United Kingdom Air Accidents Investigation Branch, or AAIB, has published its final report on an incident regarding a missing window on board a Titan Airways Airbus A321neo. The issue was discovered after takeoff and the jet returned to its origin airport. Let's examine the details of the incident and how this could have happened. The AAIB report detailed that the Titan Airways Airbus A321neo, registered as Golf Oscar Alpha Tango Whiskey, was intended to depart on a multi-sector charter itinerary from London Stansted Airport for several weeks. The incident took place on October 4, 2023. Three pilots, an engineer, a loadmaster and six cabin crew members were on board the aircraft, which was scheduled to fly to Orlando. The captain had completed a pre-flight walk-around of the jet's exterior without noticing anything out of the ordinary. Shortly after takeoff, those in the main cabin recalled that the interior was much noisier and colder than usual. Once seatbelt signs were turned off, the loadmaster began walking toward the aft of the aircraft, noticing an unusual amount of noise when walking past the overwing exit. The report states the following. He observed that the window seal was flapping in the airflow and the window pane appeared to have slipped down. He described the cabin noise as loud enough to damage your hearing. The issue was reported to the pilots who stopped the climb at about flight level 140 and reduced their airspeed while the engineer and third pilot went to inspect the window. The crew then collectively decided to return to Stansted, where the aircraft landed safely. An initial post-flight inspection revealed two missing window assemblies, with a window pane and seal dislodged on a third window. So what happened? Well, it seems that high-intensity filming lights were the culprit. Indeed, the aircraft was involved in filming on the ground the day prior. High-intensity lights were shone through the aircraft's windows near the overwing exits to simulate a sunrise for hours, five and a half hours on the right side, and four hours on the left side. In total, six halogen Maxibrut 12 lights were used, having a combined lighting capacity of 72,000 watts. While the lights were spread over a larger area on the right side, the left side overwing emergency exit experienced the most intensity. The person responsible for the setup of the electrical equipment told investigators that they were not aware of any guidance from the manufacturer or any limitations on how these lights should be used. The AAIB concluded that several window components were lost during the flight and that the high-intensity lights emitted sufficient infrared radiation to heat the acrylic windows to soften them. Thus, the windows distorted and shrunk and fell out during the flight due to vibration or pressure differential. Titan Airways reminded its department responsible for the filming to use a risk assessment process for similar activities, while Airbus has published an in-service information document highlighting the potential effect of using high-intensity lights near an aircraft. What do you think of this bizarre occurrence? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.